The STR V-104 was developed as the Swedish version of the renowned British Centurion Main Battle Tank MBT, series, which is described in more detail elsewhere on this website. After World War II, Swedish authorities chose the Centurion to replace their aging collection of light and medium tanks. Among the available options worldwide, the Centurion MK3 was deemed the most suitable due to its combination of performance, capabilities, firepower, and upgrade potential. However, as it became clear that the British couldn't deliver enough Centurion MK3s to Sweden in a timely manner, a secret local tank program known as EMIL was initiated in 1951. This program aimed to create an indigenous heavy tank. While only two chassis were constructed under this program, the focus shifted back to obtaining an available vehicle. Fortunately, British export plans allowed for the acceleration of Centurion MK3 deliveries to Sweden by late 1952. Around 80 Centurion MK3 units were ordered the following year, with an additional 110 units of the Centurion MK10 in the subsequent decade. In Swedish Army service, the Centurions were designated as STRV, Stridsvagen, with numbers indicating the main gun caliber, refer to the variants listing below. In the 1980s, the Swedish Centurions underwent modernization efforts to maintain their combat effectiveness. This included the addition of night vision NV, equipment, laser rangefinders, improved stabilization for firing while moving, updated fire control systems FCS, and thermal sleeves for the barrels. The hulls were reinforced with explosive reactive armor ERA, blocks to enhance system and crew survivability, especially against the growing threat of anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs, employed by the Soviet Army, the primary potential adversary in the region. These upgrades extended the operational life of the Centurion line, but during the 1990s, their age and the decline of the Soviet Empire led to a gradual reduction of Centurions in the Swedish Army. The acquisition of the West German-German Leopard 2A5S tank, referred to as the STRV-122 in Swedish Army terminology, marked the near end for the Centurion in Swedish service. Over its service period, the STRV-104 saw various iterations. These included the STRV-81, armed with the original British 20-pounder gun, equivalent to the British Centurion Mk3. The Armored Recovery Vehicle ARV, version mirrored the Centurion ARV and was designated Bargningsbandwagen 81 in Swedish service. In 1955, the Centurion MK5 with Swedish equipment was introduced and became part of the STRV-81 family. The STRV-101 featured the Centurion MK10 chassis with a 105mm main gun and Swedish equipment. STRV-102, referred to the original STRV-81 models retrofitted with the 105mm gun, while STRV-101R indicated STRV-101 models upgraded in the 1980s. Similarly, STRV-102R denoted the STRV-102 modernized in the 1980s, featuring a frontal armor scheme akin to the STRV-101R. The STRV-104 was a modified STRV-102 with an Israeli transmission-slash-engine coupling, produced in 80 units. Lastly, STRV-105 represented a proposed update for the STRV-102R with a new FCS and suspension system, however, only one prototype was created. Another proposed variant, STRV-106, based on the STRV-101R, also featured an updated suspension but didn't materialize. <laughs>